<laughs> the bitch got production right now, so that's fine. <laughs> I don't have an excuse now to not record because I always was... I mean, I'm a night person, so basically I uh, live in the night, so where there's no lightning, there's no recording. So I guess now I have no chance, no choice to record, I guess. <laughs> it's just like, okay. I love fucking myself up. <laughs> I, I guess teeth now match my hair, <laughs> the yellow is there, but you know, whatever. I had to um, replace, not replace, I had to change the position because the ring light was is so big, it's like a big glory hole that I couldn't fit in my window, so I just had to kind of do a close up, I guess. But now you can see my um, under, under bags. It's not a beauty light, it's like a fucking fuck me up light. Today we will be uh, reacting to my audition to the top mall that was happening in Poland, the Polish version one. And it's like, I think it was seventh, seventh season, yeah. Um, which uh, I went there in March. Okay, maybe like a little bit of backstory. I used to watch uh, every year and every uh, season of um, Top Mall in Poland basically because it was so entertaining for me back in the day and uh, which is not anymore <laughs> because I'm more interested in like the more queerish uh, uh, shows. I always thought like the drag race is kind of like a top model for drag queens so I think that's kind of like why I transitioned to watching that and it's so much more entertaining because it's just uh, uh, way more uh, funnier it's like better visually it's like just so en more enjoyable right one year ago in uh, March, I think it was March or April. I'm not even sure. But like back uh, uh, one year ago, uh, when I was in between jobs, basically because I left my job in the restaurant, and then I was uh, taking um, French school to learn the language here. Uh, I was considering to go to the audition in the top mall. Yeah. Why you might ask? I mean. <laughs> Um, it's kind of like no hiding that I have an eye for fashion and, and overall I have like an, a tick for the modeling, modeling and stuff like that. I mean, it sounds a little bit crazy, but it's just like, um, for me back in the day it was a really fun to, do, to, to maybe do something about it and I... Um, I went basically into this uh, audition with a mindset that I was going to go on a reality te television, which is basically what it is. Uh, it's not really a modeling uh, like competition or whatever, whatever. It's basically as, uh, like if we were saying in the percentage, it's basically 70% of the program is a reality show and the rest is just like a little bit of modeling but it always needs to be like entertaining for the audience which I, I get it but at the same time it's just like a little bit a fairy tale of what happens in the modeling world or whatever so in the mind with the mindset with that I knew that I would uh, pass overall the audition because the um, the station that um, puts uh, uh, like do, does the auditions, recordings, uh, all of it is mainly a reality television. So I knew that I would pass that uh, like straight away because I make a good television, anyways. Even though it's a little bit hard to show it on uh, YouTube or whatever because it's me who edits that so for me some things are not funny or whatever and it just gets cut out but uh, if uh, someone uh, lives with me or like watches me 
or like talks with me it's just like for me it's not funny but for everyone else it's just insane but so I kinda knew that I am a good television and I would be like an excellent pick for the for the program with that in mind I exactly knew what uh, they were working they were looking for I exactly knew what I had to do and uh, it's basically that I'm naturally charming in person so um, I knew how to manipulate kinda my way into the program um, yeah <laughs> but basically in March I went I think it was like a one, one weekend or whatever to the Poland to the audition in Warsaw in the capital of Poland uh, for like one day and just see what's up with the ha just to see how the Polish television show business and stuff like that works there S because I didn't had chan any chance to have it have the experience in person so I thought that it would be like a great time and and great experience to see that for myself um, so I went in March there Basically, uh, uh, what is different from the other uh, editions, the Poland one from the American or stuff like that, basically the auditions are happening in few places selected beforehand in the country, in like the big cities with the auditions in the halls or whatever in like the auditions halls, yeah. Before getting on the program you need to pass a lot of stages in the stages in the audition process so basically the first stage is to go in person in one of these halls and be uh, present there like show for the cameras and stuff like that and after that you have like an evaluation of like um, like a few people by the table evaluate you um, and like uh, they are like the first obstacle that um, you need to pass through for the other stages of the audition process. Yeah, <laughs> which is uh, triggering <laughs> to this day, but it, I will tell you all of it in, now, it's fine. Here's the thing, I will just say how it was from my perspective and uh, if it's just that there are so many people that uh, already to told this their story and like told how it was re really it's not what it shows in the television obviously and we will be reacting to that today i i had not seen the footage of the castings so what was transmitted in the television by this day simply because um I didn't care <laughs> and I kind of like uh, cut off the whole interest of this show right after basically I didn't pass the audition process because for me it was too fakeish to enjoy anymore okay so the audi overall the, the day of how it went the audition overall it started at, uh, like, I think, uh, 8 a.m., 9, 9, 9 a.m., I don't really remember. Uh, we were told, okay, beforehand, obviously, it will be like back, back and forth the information. Um, this year's uh, cycle, people could uh, uh, put their audition tapes um, for the, to send for the production to see if they... Um, automatically can put someone um, allegedly um, to the next stage to not had to go in person because in person you waste so much time there and some people can't do it for example if you live in another continent or like in the country just like me I'm living now in Paris and uh, if someone like comes from USA or whatever to just like not waste time and resources so it would just be convenient for some people to uh, just send an audition tape and see if it works out or if, if, 
even the production is interested um, which didn't even made any sense <laughs> but that's later and uh, I so beforehand I sent the audition tape stuff like that the, the audition tape I sent is the actual first video I've ever recorded of myself um, which is on YouTube now it's just on private maybe I will someday I will react to it or whatever because I mean it's a little bit cringy but a little bit it's just so um, charming and lovely which I knew that it would be received really well because it comes across as really honest and like real so I sent the audition tape overall and in the next days um, I happened to have stolen phone basically so I had to change my phone, change the phone number and stuff like that so there's that I didn't uh, I didn't have any opportunity to check if uh, there was a positive response or whatever or so if someone called me because I didn't have a phone so that was just like a little bit sad for me but at the same time it changed the whole experience for me which I will mention later <laughs> with that in mind I planned to just like go to the Poland for like a little just like two days a weekend just to visit the country and just go on to this audition type in person uh, audition for the auditions um, in person to just see how it is or whatever um, because it's always go to uh, in, it's always better to go in person wh wherever you go so I'm arriving there in the morning basically uh, I think uh, around the entrance it was like a like hundred people or whatever not really that much aside from that uh, after the fact like after in the afternoon or whatever the number multiplied to the five or six hundred people which still is a little bit um, not much at the same time um, they play a trick on the um, like the numbers here my numbers and like my uh, band that I had as a proof I guess that I were there <laughs> but yeah they put a trick that um, they put a thousands number the first letter as a thousands to just assume that there were thousands on the auditions but it it's not real it's just like I mean for me it is obvious but for the no, normal com consumers of the television it is like it seems that there are thousands but uh, at the same time the first numbers are the indicators of the city so for example Warsaw was I think five on this band I don't remember and so each city had a different number but it's not number of th thousands of people it's just number of the city so in each city av average number would be like 200 I guess people or whatever or three we also had a little bit more because it's just a capital and it was the last audition uh, for the program because and so assuming it was just like a last chance for ever everyone to just go in into the audition and again try their chances I guess so it is in the morning um, like the production the, didn't really exist after like one hour into the waiting and uh, and then someone told us uh, to just uh, go to the other entrance and stuff like that and then he explained like the rules I guess and he explained that uh, the production that, that they are doing for the program is mainly a real reality television so they need to be like the uh, charming they need to be personable so like really energetic and stuff like that which for me it was obvious because i knew what i am getting into but uh, many people were like shocked or rather they thought that they are going to the modeling program which is not even the case that's the polish so show business is a reality television straight up it's just really an exaggerated 
life. <laughs> uh, which is fine. I mean, that's how they make money. But at the same time, it's just um, sad, I guess. This guy t uh, tells us some things, stuff like that, like the rules and stuff like that, to to not like go away when the cameras are like uh, doing a close up on them, stuff like that, or like showing off, like many like I guess basic rules to the television, stuff like that, right? Um, and he says that uh, in the moments there will be like a production, of, like the cameras to just like go through the crowd and stuff like that just like I guess search for the people or like people that will be like recognizable and stuff like that and uh, they just uh, tr uh, were trying to tell us that to just catch the attention of the camera because that was the most important thing to be an interesting person I guess like an interesting thing to show on the TV <laughs> something like that Here's the thing, I kinda am a person that is immediately recognizable on the streets or whatever or overall if we would be like picking people from the crowd I'm instantly recognizable because I have I guess like a unique style of fashion and stuff like that and I am like not blending into the crowd ever even though I could try that, it's just not possible for me for whatever reason. And uh, we, when we were scattered uh, next to the entrance, when we were um, like talking with each other and stuff like that, the, the first person that um, the production comes to is to me, um, which for me it was not a surprise, but after after what I were talking with the guy that, from the production, um, the, be, I was the first person to be approached just simply because I learned that I actually won the internet uh, audition process. So I was automatically put on the other stage of the audition. So I didn't have to be there and it kind of sucked at the time because um, I was I was like well then I realized that and and uh, they were uh, saying to me that uh, they couldn't uh, contact me and stuff like that so they couldn't like establish the details and or whatever and um, I was like well yeah because my phone got stolen so I couldn't answer whatever so even though I won the uh, internet uh, auditions I was like put at the end of the day I was put back at the starting place um, and I had to go over the audition once again but in person which you know it happens and uh, well if if I had my phone, uh, the old one now, I guess I would be in the show, but uh, at the same time, I guess that's destiny, right? I mean, uh, some things, I guess, are just not um, in place in the universe. But besides that, um, they did like a little interview, interview with me. Um, uh, to just like uh, tell me, uh, tell the, uh, to the camera who I am, stuff like that, what I do, like just basic stuff, right? To just like get hooked on the inter interest of the uh, audience. So after that, I think uh, th the cameras were like looking for people for like half an hour, stuff like that. But uh, I was mainly one of the people that were the most interesting from the, the first, first stage, I guess, from the interviews. Uh, after that, they told us to uh, go into the entrance before and just like uh, they were gonna record the the big entrance. Every audition reality show has its like the running in to the entrance to get to, to the 
papers and stuff like that or whatever. Basically, they recorded a few times the running into the entrance like dogs. Um, but, but everybody knows that because it's just so fake. So let's just skip that. <laughs> After that there was like a little bit of dance party I guess or whatever There was like a flying over our heads like a drone that was recording the crowd dancing or whatever to some bullshit on the recording tape and I'm like what the fuck is this like it's just not really I mean maybe it's interesting for the fucking normies in Poland that uh, watch the television but it just was so fakeish and like it meant to like uh, get us warm up or whatever I mean it makes sense because after that there was another running uh, sequence to the t uh, like to the tables with the papers and stuff like that um, recorded or whatever and uh, it was obviously it was repeated a few times <laughs> Um, but at the same time, the, when the, the, it was happening, um, when they were running to the tables in the other room, there were no papers, so it just was for the cameras to just capture the enthusiasm of people. Cringy, but you know. So, the first, uh, like, um, big uh, audition process could be split in three basically it was um, the first stage was to um, fill the audition forms like the papers and documents stuff like that to just like sig signatures and stuff like that to um, not get sued <laughs> um, and like the formalities and like the personality papers, like uh, I oh yeah, the forms were for me uh, at least for me it was a little bit all over the place and it was really weak because it did not really dig into the juicy I guess uh, details of everybody because uh, the questions that the formula had was what like uh, what what is your favorite memory uh, like what what is like uh, your how how you describe yourself your personality stuff like that like there were no juicy details that you could uh, write on the form because i don't know why but for me it was just a little bit boring and it was just like It was just basically few papers we, uh, that we needed to write some bullshit and just like go to the next stage, I guess. So it would the whole of this process you had to fill the forms and go to the table to just be um, registered to the audition, and this whole process took like three hours overall. I think three hours actually in Warsaw it was. After that you had to take a picture to put in the formula as a first like um, just have a picture right in the forms to just like see how uh, the, the camera catches you and stuff like that and uh, how you present yourself on the pictures I guess. Here's the thing, um, the room that we were in first of all it was a lot of people, second it was hot because it was yeah, it was spring summerish uh, weather there. Uh, so um, the room was really closed up. Like it was b boarded. It was windows all over the place because it's kind of like a glass design. And for for some reason we couldn't uh, open the windows or like open the doors for just like get some air to like breathe, I guess and the production said like not really you are not allowed to do that i'm like okay so you want us to suffocate there or like you know this is your 
um, I guess, um, I don't know, trial of uh, who passes out. <laughs> but, you know, I guess that's just how they like to do it. <laughs> so we had to take a picture to put it in the forms. And it was basically, uh, it took overall another four hours. Uh, simply because the organization on the place was so bad and it was a really hard job to uh, not even move around because it was so many people but it was just a little bit um, all over the place because I had I guess it was like one or two printers that were printing the pictures and uh, it was just uh, messy overall so it the registration and the taking the picture overall took six, seven hours for no reason. And it was just so tiring overall. And many people that were like at the end of the lines and stuff like that to take a picture, they, the picture that were, was uh, released was through a really unfavorable um, condition of the person because it was a person who would be usually just sweaty tired and stuff like that and the light even the lightning I had now is even better that it was on the photo photo shoot there like um, it was so not professional at all at least for me I mean I have low standards but at the same time I can like handle myself somehow <laughs> not mention the company that uh, have millions but yeah and the last uh, uh, stage that I had was uh, waiting for an um, audition uh, in groups of 10 people usually um, to present themselves to the commission to the few people uh, at the table to just like uh, present themselves and see if they catch some interest in you or whatever and it was another five hours so overall my spending time was there a, a little bit about let me see it was yeah 12 12 13 hours overall of the audition in one day uh, with like no water, no food overall there, it was just like, just be there and just be trash, <laughs> like, what the hell. <sighs> so basically, what was happening around overall is that Polish people are no strange to bullshit and like catching up to that, to lies, I guess. And... Uh, a lot of things that were happening on the audition was really staged and like really cringy and like really behind the scenes it was just like really weird and uh, it seemed like at least I think from what I saw no one really passed the audition uh, that I saw in person like the people that uh, originally went into the final stamping uh, were not even present on the audition at least like uh, it was for me a little bit weird in person but i i mean we will watch uh, today the episodes from the place that i was the production uh, was accused of using the tapes from other cities of uh, too for a different cities to prove that so to prove that the thousands of people came to the audition to just have like a backbone of lies i guess it's just like you know and there were so many people that were there were rumors that uh, it was few people's past the, the audition process by just simply showing up telling their names and just like going out from the rooms with red bracelets which were an indicator that you 
past the first stage to just go there. I think it was not like a stage thing or whatever, because I think from my perspective, because I won the uh, uh, internet audition, I think it would be me who is in the same position that the, these people that were like stage that people thought there were. Uh, but for me it didn't happen because I kind of like reset it their um, the audition process in their in their rules I did it I didn't uh, like my audition tape never happened for them because I didn't gave any response and showed up in person so I guess it was just like I don't know it's it's really strange but at the same time I kind of get it because if you are like a production and you did do not and get any response from the possible contestant on the program I would just like ignore that too and just search another I guess that's just how it is right but at least um, in my group it was a little bit weird okay. so I'll just talk about what I had in my group uh, when I went to the room with, to the last stage of the audition um basically we went there in, in in 10 in a group of 10 people and uh, for me it was just like a normal people and stuff like that people like me who are like average and like uh, liked to go into the show just to try out the sounds try out themselves or, or something like that what happened in the place and uh, were if we were going by the line I was basically like near to the end and I was hearing what other people were talking to the um, judges um, and what happened were that I was in a, a really strong group of people that were already influenced in the show, Polish show business because in my group I had a, a niece of the famous first of all a niece of the fam famous uh, designer in Poland I had uh, I think Miss Poland Miss Poland or like Vice Miss Poland so she was instantly recognizable I had, uh, um, who was it there? And people uh, liked to make up like weird stories that, I mean, maybe it happened or whatever, but it was just like so forced to go to the pity for the judges and like just go onto the show and stuff like that. Because Polish uh, television r loves people with history and like sad histories and stuff like that to just like the underdog stories basically um, that's just how the reality show of Poland works <laughs> people love the underdog stories and they don't like people that are confident that they don't like people that know what they're doing they just like to people that cry a lot people that they are not um, capable of doing things and uh, after the after uh, some time they are becoming like a better person stuff like that is just it's a really cringy world I had some I had like a sister and a brother that were uh, how to say it like the brother had a condition that he couldn't express himself really well like he couldn't talk normally or whatever and he was telling that that it was just basically a, a bad condition that he got in the past um, and he wanted to prove to the 
world that he could do things that normal people do. It was really weird. At the, I mean, at the time, for me, it was interesting, but after the fact, I thought that that's just like going into the pity of the judges and like going to the history, like pity history. Um, and there were few more people that uh, went with the weird stories also. So, and uh, they were like uh, trying to pick out the um, judges' interest if they knew that person or whatever because they worked with the television or like there were um, uh, documentaries of them. It's, for me, it was like I was really the only person that was outsider of the um, their brand and I uh, thought to myself like the fuck am I doing here honestly like there are people there are people that want to get on this show that they are already known they have money they just know that they can go into it because they they know them <laughs> and it's just for me it was a little bit weird that uh, from the outsider's perspective, it's just a little bit staged. So it's just like, what's the fucking point to participate in this? Then just like, I don't know. The, even the judges recognized me um, because I won the, this audition in internet. So they initially asked me um, why I am here. <laughs> And uh, I was like, well, I, lo I lost my phone, so I couldn't do anything about it. And they are like, okay, so tell me, so tell us uh, something about you. And I'm like, well, you already know. <laughs> like they treated me as uh, they didn't know me already. And I saw at the back of the uh, table my uh, formula that was already on the pile of um, the rejected ones so even though I was saying stuff in some stuff and I was presenting themselves me I was already rejected and I was like what's the point anymore <laughs> in the audition hall I was talking with uh, many people and stuff like that and they instantly liked me. Even the camera crew, like the television, uh, really liked uh, how I presented myself in front of the television, stuff like that, in front of the camera. And uh, it, they really w wanted me to go more or like pass the audition from the judges. And, uh, but at, at the end of the day, because I, I don't know what even happened, to be honest, but at the end of the day, I got uh, shut down, I guess, from the judges. And um, I was, I guess, when I left the room, um, when people didn't, when people saw that I didn't have the red bracelet that uh, was supposed to be like a passing point, first of all, and uh, the camera crew, camera crew was uh, shocked. <laughs> And the people that uh, were uh, talking with me, like the participants, were shocked also. And people are, were like, what the hell happened? Like, you were like a first person to pass this uh, audition, basically. Um, from the charisma, stuff like that, just basically with talking, like with the feeling uh, uh, free in, in front of the camera, like, what the hell happened? Like, you were a real contestant here and I know like I will I don't know
I just I just didn't pass but if it's my fault or not I am not gonna um, dig into it at the end of the day I guess uh, it was not the time and um, it was sad at that time because uh, I kind of sacrificed some things to go there but I mean there are things in the universe that they don't let you to do it because simply it won't work out um, but it was like you know maybe for the better overall the experience was like I was confused on the end of the day it was like what the hell happened um, but if you, if I would uh, say if I would go again on the audition or whatever to this again to this program um, because I am like a gold opportunity for the Polish television to be turned around to be like a really authentic thing not like a really because people uh, f from year to year they are getting annoyed by the fact that it's really staged and stuff like that so at that time I was like a really big hope to, to, to turn things out um, but if I would say that if I would go to the another season another cycle to participate if my response would be if I would get a personal call if I would be um, needed and I would not have to pass the audition in person again there then I would participate in that I think again too because I have a thing that I want to change some things in the Polish industry or like the television and stuff like that because it's really fake at this and I am like a really good person to turn it around because I'm just too real and too honest so I think it it was a really good idea to go there and experience that but I guess some things happened that were not influenced I think by me but maybe it was I don't know if it were a conspiracy or whatever but um, I moved on, I don't know if they moved on, but I uh, just uh, stopped caring about that at the, same, at the time. So after, the, after that I didn't really um, watch the episodes, I didn't really, um, I were not interested into who went to the home of the top model, who won the competition, not really because I thought that it just... It was just not interested and I had other things to do but I thought after saying that I think it would be a really cool idea to react to the uh, to the actual episodes that were taking place there and see what they actually put on the tapes because I because when I was there in person I, w I was always trying to be in uh, every shot of the camera because that was the point of making a television there to just be in the in the shot of the camera and be like an interesting point that uh, an uh, audi audience could enjoy I guess so and uh, I saw for I, I heard from my friends and the family and stuff like that that I was appearing there but they didn't get into the detail what happened <laughs> so I don't really know what really uh, went down and what r really the production put on the TV screen so I don't know what will happen now maybe I won't be in the episode maybe they wanted me to feel uh, happy that I was in the television but truth to, to be told I was there in person I knew what happened and I know where I should look for myself in the uh, video so I guess let's just go into that and I will explain 
things in between um, what was the real um, thing that happened 